And so to Porto, and arguably one of the most controversial moments of the season so far. You'll see a penalty here, and you've just got to judge for yourself whether you think Nigerian international Peter Ruffai was given a fair deal here. Well, I've watched it several times, and uh, it's been such a big weekend for Nigerian footballers around Europe that uh, Ruffai perhaps must feel the hard luck story. But I can tell you that uh, Porto didn't play badly, and Ruffai was to be the saviour here for Firenze in magnificent form. Well, the most controversial moment of the match we'll see in a moment. It comes here. I'm still not convinced that uh, this was a penalty, even having looked at it uh, a number of times. Well, when you eventually get to it, we'll decide for yourself. The little run and the push outside the box. This time, was it? Well, on the line says some. Outside say others. A penalty given. Now, watch the top right hand. A firecracker. Surely the goalkeeper has a case to answer here. But the goal stands. Domingos' penalty after 33 minutes. Well, there's the firecracker. Now, he definitely had to move away. It was hit straight forward. For me, that has to be retaken at least. Now to the referee, 1-0 Porto. And the game goes on. Certainly that affected uh, Florence, but Porto bombarded the uh, Nigerian keeper and uh, under Bobby Robson they must now feel that the championship is within their grasp five games to go six games to go five points is their lead in fact at the present situation and uh, more complaints at half time by the officials or to the officials and uh, in the second half it was all one-way traffic, all Porto trying to get a second goal. It would ease the nerves on the terraces. Well, they brought on a couple of uh, substitutions and, uh, well, Fola was to be the key man. Number 16, watch his rut. And fine little pass inside. Porto determined to uh, continue the good work. Fola involved in just about everything. And here setting up Emerson the chances at the other end and this uh, was the best of them for Forenza Djukic with it but in the end though it's going to be one telling moment that proved decisive Rufai saving superbly here from Rui Barros and again Rui Barros was to be the instigator this time of the cross and this time it went wide Rufai won in calm and that was something that Porto were finding it hard to muster a half chance again for Folia, and this time he drilled it over. Surely a second goal would come because the pressure was so immense, it almost had to. In the end, though, it came from the substitute. It was a simple touch, and he made no mistake. Porto winners by two goals to nil in a match that we remembered for the firecracker that went off.